Hello, I'm Izzy Noodles, and we are at the final part of Babylon is Fallen. This is the boss level. So if we come through here, we actually get a load screen and a lot of shaking. Get rid of this guy here. Don't let him touch you. If he does get you, he really doesn't take off a lot of damage, so you really don't need to panic. Because I panic a lot. Okay. Come around the corner. And you see the two big faces on the wall. They are doorways, and we need to open the doorways. So come behind all of these pillars. And there is a jump switch. Right there. So. Pull that. Oh. Dragon. Here we go. Now we can see that Lara's actually wrecking the place. So. <laughs> we need to. Well, no. We don't actually need to run and get out of here as quick as we can. But right now, you want to equip your crossbow with poison arrows and come out here to spawn two harpies and then come back in here and be very careful of the fire oh don't get me oh no 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 <laughs> I've never done that before first time for everything Okay, I'm back at the lever. So, it got a bit hectic there, didn't it? Usually they don't both come into the um, this room. They're usually one at a time. One's usually a bit slow or it gets stuck or something. But anyway, we're back. I've got my crossbow with my poison arrows. Getting out the way, minding the fire. Ooh. Oh, come on, turn around. Oh, they're both in here again. You just want to keep running and rolling. Got one. Where's the other one? I think he's above me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yes, okay. Minimal damage. Very good. Right. So... There are two ways we can go here. I think that's the easy way, never bothered to take that route. But this way is slightly harder. And you can see just up on that block there's a couple of items. And that is a secret. So, we will be going this way. And this first jump can be tricky. What you want to do, because there's a there's you can't really see very well, but behind the slope there is a flat platform so in order to actually get there we will slide down the slope and potentially fall to your death so you want to as you jump you want to turn in the air like so and grab if you don't turn in the air you don't have the opportunity to grab because she's got her back to that block so she will fall down this is also another slightly tricky one because you can potentially slide off and just topple over as well. So you want to take two steps back and you will turn for some reason. And you want to do a half tile jump. Do you, you know, just <laughs> do your best, do what you can. Oh yes, good, 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 good. And then just hop up. And we have the second from last secret, not the last secret. So this is the second from last. So we've got a large med pack and some flares. Hop over to here. Come up here. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> he wouldn't let me move. But now we've got some deadly traps. Okay, so this can be difficult. It's 
very trial and error. The best way I found to do it that works most of the time, I did find another way of doing it, but then that stopped working after a while. So you want to come into this corner and be on Lara's left hand side. So looking at her now, that's the right hand side. And save. Because it will take many attempts. You want to do a half tile jump and you want to veer to the right onto that first tile and then veer to the left to the second tile. It can be very difficult. Let's have a go. Oh, I'm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I never make that jump from the second tile on the first go, but I did, but I missed. <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh no! Okay, I finally made it. Not gonna lie, took quite a few attempts. So now we want to get through the doorway, but we need to open it. <laughs> so that means running all the way back over the spikes. So firstly, when we run over to the, the med kit here, uh, the next set of spikes, there we go, will disappear. And we can pull the lever. And sometimes, this has only happened to me once, like I said before, you can only get the lever when you're right in the corner, you can't shimmy across to it. So on the off chance you overshoot and don't land in the right spot, it's only happened to me once, but I'm going to save just to save me doing that jumping over the damn spikes again. <laughs> okay, so just run and jump. There we go, that was perfect. So that's opened the door, but now we've got a horrible spike trap. <laughs> so time it when they're just about to come up and you'll miss. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, trying again. I didn't turn very well, that was the problem. There we go. And you definitely want to save here, because of this, we are going into the boss battle now. So you definitely want to save. And if you don't want to use a med pack, there will be much reloading. So firstly, grab your shotgun. That would be the most important item here. There is a flying harpy and a minotaur. I've been calling a lot of things a minotaur in this game, but I think this is the actual minotaur. It stands on two legs, so I think this is a real minotaur. And you can't kill it. But you can knock it back with the shotgun, so that's why the shotgun is the best thing to use. Oh, oh come on. So you get a flyby, or a cutscene. And yes, you are going to be shot at. So what you want to do... Oh, no, don't shoot me. Get rid of the harpy. There we go. In the water, there is a small med pack. Just here. And now, while we're dodging the minotaur... Oh, crikey, there he is. Shoot him in the face. You can't shoot him while he's oh flying. There's two buttons, one here. One is oh on the opposite side. Stop it. Oh I can't believe he got me. He never gets me with that attack. I tend to just reload before he does get me. Okay, I have just got the harpy, jumped into the water, got the med pack, and now I'm going to try and... Oh, I see him. 
there we go. <laughs> so I got the other button first the first time, so this is the second one. Let me just go and get the other one. Also, uh, the Minotaur has an attack where it is instant death, he puts you on fire. So now we've got some Tomb Raider magic going on, we've got a platform we can walk across, just a, a landing strip, oh god no, don't get me, so up here, and up here, and while the Minotaur is on the ground he can't get you here, but if he's floating, he, oh yeah, he can get you. So at this first ledge we've got this gap over here, there is a small med pack here, there we go, not that we'll be needing it, and then just hop out again, what's my health like? It's, it's okay, I've survived with worse health, but often when I, oh no, 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 <gasps> oh, Okay, I'm back. I'm back in the small room where I just picked up that small med pack. And I was in the middle of a sentence and I have no idea what I was trying to say. I have forgotten. <laughs> but anyway, climb all the way up to the top after you get that small med pack. Jump up and you want your shotgun again. Because there's another harpy. Take care of him. And then you want to find this ladder bit, block with a ladder. So make your way up, very slowly. Okay, and here is the chute that it showed us in that little cutscene. But we need to fill it with water, otherwise if we jump in, Lara will die. And also there is a lever there, but we will come back to that in a bit. So you want to jump across to here and monkey bar your way over here. Okay when we come through here we've got the golden lion statue that we were going to pick up in the very first video this is what we came here for so now we've got that this door has opened okay so you want to get down to the bottom so the triangular tile where Lara's head is that's where you're aiming for so, do a running jump, don't grab in the air, you don't need to. And to get down from the sloped tiles, these angled tiles, you just grab and you can, you can hold grab, you don't need to do the, the let go trick because she can't grab these ledges because they're just a half tile. Okay, so one more. Awesome. So now we need to get to the tile on the right. It can be tricky, because I always worry that I'm going to overshoot. Simple as that. So if we take a look, there is a ledge we can shimmy across to. So to get there you want to do a half tile jump. Or not. I was at a bit of an angle it seems. Okay, try the jump again, try not to be <laughs> at an angle, there you go, there is enough, uh, an odd chance that you might just take a little bit of damage if Lara just pricks her toes. So now you want to watch her hands, when you can pull up, now pull up, because you will take some damage in, on that spike. So if you come forward, press this button to open this door trying to press the button, get a load more shaking and now that 
means we can exit this game, this level, but we're not going to do that yet. Firstly, if we come back, the spikes that were here have gone. And there is a large med pack just hiding in this corner. And now just make your way back to the room we've just opened. Because that is an elevator. It'll take us straight back up to the top where we picked up that lion statue. And to activate the elevator, you need to stand in this corner. You can see up top, that's where we're aiming for. See, here's, here's the fire that we monkey barred across. Just make your way back across. Okay. I nearly fell off. So before I go to end the game by going down the chute, I'm coming back to this lever. This is our last secret. You see the doors on the ground there? This lever opens the door, but it is timed. And we need to very quickly get down to the bottom without crunching. So it can take many attempts, even though I've mastered how to do it without taking damage, because the walkthrough says top your health up because you're going to take damage. No, I figured out how to not take damage. So, do the very important thing of saving. So I, I will firstly uh, do an example of how to get down. So once you pull it, you want to hop back and turn and do that twice. You will take a little bit of damage here and you want to sprint for a short while and then let go so you can jump. I didn't sprint then, but that's all right. And then you can see a series of angled tiles. They are slopes, you can't stand on them. But if you aim for them, you will gradually slide down. Don't forget to press the action button so she will slide into the next gap. And you will not take damage. You will slide down and not take damage. And at the bottom, the last slope, do not hold the grab button. Otherwise she will stumble and you will waste time. So. I will reload to get back up. And here we go. Last secret. Pull the lever, hop back and turn twice. Sprint for a short while. It does take some practice to get into the gap. Like that. Yep. And let go of grab. Shoot him. Oh, never mind, because pick up your secret. All that's in here is a med pack. Yeah, that's that's the instant death attack that I mentioned. <laughs> Sets you on fire. That one didn't go too well. I got down pretty good, but I usually take care of him a bit better. Alright, I'll show you again how to go for the secret. So you jump back and turn twice, sprint to the edge, and try and jump. It does take practice to sprint and then let go to jump in time. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. I've lost a lot of health there. Where is he? Right behind me. 
Okay, I can do this. Oh no, no, don't get me. Don't get me. Okay, quickly, climb. Oh, he's gonna climb up. Don't climb up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're home free. <laughs> Can't believe how much health I took off there. You have no idea. For God's sake. It's oh. alright, I'll do it again. Okay, so I did pretty well that time. Often forget to talk. Onto this block. Grab that block. Okay, now we're good. Unless I fall off. Oh, no, I nearly fell off again. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh my goodness. Trying not to jinx it. Okay, it took so many attempts to get that secret, well not even to get to the secret, getting to the bottom wasn't always the problem, it was getting back up. But anyway, got all the secrets, now we can get out of here. Okay, into the pit, nice. So swim all the way down, usually that platform would be up, don't know why, because you'd just crunch anyway. And there is a slight slope here, before you get to the top you want to pause for a moment. Because there is a boulder. There it is, now we can swim. You want to be on your right hand side and climb out really quick. Because there is another boulder. And now just hop onto this light. And you are right back at the start of the game. This is where we tried to pick up the lion statue to start with, but it disappeared. Now this is the end of the game, so I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Babylon is Fallen, and I hope you enjoy the next game. Thanks a lot, see you soon.